What are triangular numbers? The triangular numbers start with one dot, the number one. To create the next triangular number, we make an equilateral triangle by adding two dots below our original dot. So we've now got three dots, and that is our second triangular number. To create the third triangular number, we add a new row, this time of three dots below our existing triangle, so we've now got a total of six dots. And we continue like this. Each time we add a row, the row has got one more in it, and we add it on. So our fourth triangular number is 10. To create the fifth triangular number, we add on a five to get 15. So each time we go from one triangular number to the next, the difference is increasing by one. Let's look at creating an algebraic description for our triangular numbers now. Here's our diagram of the first five triangular numbers and how they're formed. If we let T1 denote the first term in the sequence of triangular numbers, then T1 is equal to 1, T2 is equal to 1 plus 2, T3 equals 1 plus 2 plus 3, T4 equals 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus 4, and T5 is 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus 4 plus 5. We can see quite easily that these are all the sums of whole numbers from 1 up to the number that's equal to the term position of our triangular number. So the nth triangular number, Tn, must be the sum of all the whole numbers from 1 up to n. So we've seen that the nth triangular number is just the sum of all the whole numbers from 1 up to n itself, which can be calculated using the expression n times n plus 1 all over 2. To find out more information about how we can find this, have a look at my video on summing arithmetic sequences. Now we've got our formula for finding triangular numbers, we can use it to find different terms in the sequence. So for example, the tenth term is equal to 10 times 11 divided by 2, which is 55. The fiftieth term would be 50 times 51 all over 2 which equals 1,275. We can use this formula to find any number in the sequence that we like. An interesting thing about the triangular numbers is what happens when we add consecutive triangular numbers together. Let's have a look at what happens with the first two, one and three. You can see that I've redrawn the second triangle, this time as a right angled triangle. And the reason I've done that is to show you if we add them together, we can make a square of four dots. Now four is equal to two squared. Quite obvious as we've just made a square. Now let's look at what happens if we add the second and third triangular numbers together. Three add six. If we rotate the three and move it to the top right corner of our six, again, we've got a square, this time of nine dots, which is equal to three squared. In fact, you can do this with any pairing of consecutive triangular numbers. If we add them together, we'll always get a square number. So let's look at how we can prove this algebraically. We've seen that the nth term in our triangular numbers sequence is equal to n times n plus 1 over 2. So if we take two consecutive triangular numbers, tn minus 1 and tn, and add them together, we get n minus 1 times n all over 2 plus n times n plus 1 all over 2. Expanding the tops gives us n squared minus n over 2 plus n squared plus n over 2. Bringing our fractions together and collecting like terms gives us 2n squared over 2 which can be simplified to n squared. So there we have it. Any consecutive triangular numbers when added together will give us a square number Moreover, it will be the square of the position of the larger of the two triangular numbers. And conversely, any square number that you pick can also be formed by adding together consecutive triangular numbers. If you've enjoyed this video, don't forget to subscribe to the Doing Maths channel or check out some more of my videos by clicking on the links here.